My name is Robert Simmons. I'm the executive director of the Black Educators Initiative with Urban Teachers. We're excited as an organization to support the recruitment and retention of black educators. We are excited to not only lean into this as an organization, but we're also excited to collaborate with the community. We're excited to tell the story of uh, black educators. What you are going to see is over the next four episodes, we're going to have black teachers in Detroit, DC, Baltimore, and Dallas, simply talking about why they became uh, educators, why they got into the profession, but most importantly, what's the power and the impact of black teachers in America? Lastly, Urban Teacher stands in solidarity with communities across the country who have fought this issue and dealt with this issue for a uh, generation. Our goal is to create a generational movement focused on accelerating the rate at which we add and include black teachers in our schools. So I'm Kelly Sullivan. I'm a first year teacher. And the reason why I teach is because I had someone pour into me. And so it's my duty, my obligation, my calling to pour into others. For me, it's always one, those kids are me or were me. Um, and if it wasn't for my community, my tribe, where would I be? Um, to me, teaching isn't just uh, a job, right? It, it's a passion, but it's also, it's a calling. And the impact of black teachers in America. Lastly, Urban Teacher stands in solidarity with communities across the country who have fought this issue and dealt with this issue for a uh, generation. Our goal is to create a generational movement focused on accelerating the rate at which we add and include black teachers in our schools. So I'm Kelly Sullivan. I'm a first year teacher. And the reason why I teach is because I had someone pour into me. And so it's my duty, my obligation, my calling to pour into others. For me, it's always one, those kids are me or were me. Um, and if it wasn't for my community, my tribe, where would I be? Um, to me, teaching isn't just uh, a job, right? It, it's a passion, but it's also, it's a calling. Hello, how you doing? My name is uh, Calvin Nellum, and I've been teaching for five years. Um, I teach because I want to be an advocate, inspiration, and a motivator for my people. And most importantly, you know, I just want to give back. The teacher has to be put on a pedestal like the Blake Griffin, like the Jay-Z's, you know, and be seen like that person is the ultimate holder of knowledge and the person that is going to be the leader. Um, for some reason, when I see like an entertainer and a sports athlete in the position of like a leader and they're giving like a speech and they're like talking, I'm like, I'm supposed to be up there. Like, I, I, you know, I went to school for six years and I studied quantum physics and you know what I'm saying? And all they got to do is kick a ball and entertain and all of this, you know, um, praise and stuff. You know, and so when I'm in the classroom, I have to like really let myself know that I'm not only an educator, I'm, a, I'm someone that's inspirational. I'm someone that's motivational. If I'm coming with an empathetic mindset, I'm like, okay, I have no idea, but I'm gonna give y'all the power and y'all gonna mm -hmm. teach me how to teach y'all. Yeah. Right, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That and voice. when once you recognize that power and you give them that power, now you just become, instead of like a sage on a stage, you become a facilitator. My name is Candace Tarter. Um, I've been teaching for four years. Um, I went into education because I know that our students need to see a reflection of themselves, but just to be have somebody that can kind of culturally tap into. At this point in the field, you have to give a little bit of yourself mm -hmm. to your students in order to even be successful at what you do. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Terry Sanders. Uh, I go to Wayne State University, and I've been studying special education for the last five years. But coming from a college student, what we need to get the engineers to an education major is support. And I think that's where those situations come in, where it's peer-to-peer -peer leadership growth inside the, inside the school. Um, because right now, like I said, I'm a student athlete at Wayne State. I could be getting ready for the combine next year, but I'm getting ready for my classroom on my half. Yeah, um, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like, 
It's just that passion that you have, like you said, for your students. And they have to understand, they have to feel that. They have to feel that impact at a young age, like, yeah. man, this guy next to me just changed my life and he's in my classroom. So my name is Michelle Davis and I've been an educator for 25 years. Um, I think it's important for black people to be in education because we have an awesome opportunity to impart the knowledge that people have imparted into us. It is incumbent upon us to, to cure all of the ills that's happening in our community. And when you go into education, not only are you educating the students that's sitting in front of you, you really are leaving a legacy. And if, if your primary uh, motivator is money, it's not the occupation. No. Nope. Any right? Anybody could pay you. Right. Yeah. But, but definitely this one. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So if your primary motivator is money, it's, this is not for you. Um, you already know the, the reason why you are showing up is because the kids need you. Yep. Right? So, yeah, if the kids were perfect, they wouldn't need us. Absolutely. So do our kids have challenges? Yes, that's why I'm there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's why I show up, because they're bad. Mm -hmm. right? now, they're not bad, right? Right, they but the... They right, right, right. Coach through process. And and I'm the answer to that question. Yeah. So we, we are the answer. So if, if they're like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to do it because they're bad. Yeah. The, then okay, good thing you're not, not doing it. You. <laughs> it's not for you. But if you think that you are the answer to the problem, it's for you, right? Because we are the answer. Yeah. So if we show up as ourselves and then we teach as opposed to showing up as teachers, because yeah. if we show up as teachers, they don't feel like they can relate to Absolutely. Us. But if we show up as human beings that love children, mm -hmm. then I think it we can um, really bond with them in a way where we're just not their teacher, we're a person in the, in the building that can help them. Uh, Kente Ross, sir, 16 years in the profession. Uh, but for any kid of any nationality, I think that uh, cultural representation and diversity is essential to the profession. My name is Brian Ferguson Bay. I've been teaching 13 years. I teach because um, it's a need, it's a passion, you know, when we talk about building community, uh, when we talk about hard work, integrity, uh, being a leader, uh, all of those things go into the teaching or fall into the teaching realm when we're talking about building uh, young children up to be scholars. Uh, my name is Quan Nellums. Uh, I've been in the teaching profession for 17 years. Uh, Frederick Douglass said that uh, it's easier to build strong children than it is to repair broken men. And so uh, I believe that to be true. Black men represents 2% of the teaching population, but what we do know is that when black people are involved in education, our kids, black kids, tend to achieve more, they tend to come to school more, and they tend to even graduate from college more when they have representation in the classroom. I want to give a, a shout out and a special thanks to Quan Nellums and I Am In Demand for their support. Uh, it's because of their uh, videos that gave me the inspiration to uh, take on this work. I also want to thank our host, Cuts Lounge, here in uh, Detroit, uh, a powerful community space, and we all understand the history and relevance of barbershops uh, in uh, this community. I also uh, want to make sure I give a special shout out to all of the uh, black educators who participated in this uh, first uh, video that we're doing. And I'm excited to thank Detroit for pouring so much into me as a native Detroiter. Shout out to uh, my first uh, mentor and principal, uh, Dr. Stanley Walden here in uh, Detroit. <laughs>